and shalom it's Victoria I hope you're doing very well today okay here's something first of all on that last video I do want to say that when I said that about gifts and I had mentioned Galatians I was thinking of fruits so it should have been first Corinthians in chapter 12 the gifts that God gives us anyway here's what I want to share with you um, when this is kind of like a personal testimony okay I was doing a lot for uh, I had like a I don't know I want to say like a, a decade of time uh, where I was just uh, doing many many things okay including air travel going to different countries and what happened is um, I was getting ready I had to leave the country a particular country and I was flying to Moscow Russia and uh, from there I was flying over to the United States and anyway I was just feeling on just complete overload have you ever been there where you just had many things going on and you started to just feel like there was just like you had in other words you had just taken on too much and you were just feeling like your your circuits were sort of like an overload have you ever had that feeling I'm sure you have all right so the father gave me this verse and I'm telling you this verse is so critical to each and every one of us to help us you know father's always um, he, he wants to encourage us he wants to help us win the race okay all right so here is the verse and I'm telling you I repeated this verse all through the trip the trek because you know when you're flying you know how awful it is in the airports I mean that alone like when I uh, one of the um, you know when I was in the airport I'll never forget I was there and had to I ended up having to stay overnight it's a long story and I had to stay awake I mean I was awake all night how can you sleep you know you have a carry-on suitcase I was leaning my head on that trying to sleep it's just not real comfortable in a hard chair in the airport you know what I'm saying okay but here's the verse and I I'm telling you this is one of my key verses uh, that I I just have to lean on this okay Philippians 413 and I'm going to start with Aramaic text it says I can do all things not just some all through Christ who strengthens me okay that was the Aramaic text again Philippians 413 all right now I'll read King James it's really the same thing okay I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me now let's go to amplified and uh, again this is Philippians 4:13. Um, I don't have it written up here I hope you don't mind but I I'm having some issues with the keyboard on this this computer okay I can do all things and then in parentheses which he who has called me to do and then it says through him with a capital H through him now you could also say through Christ or you could say through Yeshua you know he has all these different names who strengthens and empowers me and then in parentheses it says to fulfill his purpose I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace and then it's in a parenthesis okay I think that is really good and helpful where it says who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace I love that don't you you know because that's what this is about giving us power giving us you know strengthening us amen and it's so important to realize he is telling us the the divine scripture you know uh, God is the word John 1 1 he is telling us we can do all things not just some all things that's what's so powerful about this verse 
Hallelujah. Praise Him forever. So I'm praying that this really encourages you. I'm praying that this is a verse that you will hold. It's such a simple verse to just memorize. You know, I can do all things through Him, through Christ, through Yeshua, who strengthens me. Hallelujah. Praise Him forever. God willing, okay. I'll be back soon to share more with you. Don't forget to uh, take a look at our website. You can just even type in the search bar, Shema Ministries Jerusalem. If you go through um, the browser DuckDuckGo, it usually will pull everything right up. And as I said before, it's a large website, so there's much there to view. Um, when we get time, we post some different videos that give you information you may not be aware of. Okay, thanks so much for listening. Have a, a wonderful day. God bless. Great gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him, and he with me.